You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP LTM. In this section, we are going to compare different LTM load balancing algorithm and we will see the difference between performance monitor and health monitor and how it affects load balancing algorithm and for each algorithm we will see if it is dynamic or static and the measurement parameters based on which big ip decide how to load balance the requests in the previous sections we have discussed and implemented big ip ltm round robin and ratio load balancing algorithm in this section we are going to compare different load balancing algorithms supported by big ip ltm before introducing and comparing LTM load balancing algorithm, we will first discuss some terminology. Most of the load balancing algorithms have two versions, node and member. Typically, we use the node version of the load balancing algorithm when sharing servers across multiple pools. Otherwise, the member or pool member version of the algorithm is usually used. And also most of the load balancing algorithm are dynamic meaning that the load balancing decision is made based on dynamic parameters especially the number of current connections or sessions to each servers and servers response time in a static load balancing algorithm load balancing is done based on predefined decisions such as round robin which distribute requests evenly across array of machines or ratio which distribute requests based on the ratio weight that we manually assign to each server node or pool member both round robin and ratio methods are discussed and implemented in the previous sections the other terminologies we notice when it comes to load balancing algorithm are health monitor and performance monitor the role of health monitor is to detect whether a server is available or not available and of course the traffic is forwarded to the server if it is available the health monitor plays no role in load balancing algorithm and health monitor can be applied at both node and also pool member level the role of performance monitor but is to monitor and measure the performance of the servers such as measuring snmp mips and also cpu and memory overload the result of performance monitoring can be used in the load balancing algorithm performance monitor requires the corresponding plugin file to measure the CPU or memory the, or the other parameters to be installed on the servers. Performance monitor can only be applied at the node level. Each load balancing algorithm has a measurement parameter or a set of measurement parameters that are used to decide which server to forward the next request to. Some of these measurement parameters are configurable by the administrator and some of them are calculated dynamically ratio and connection limits are the configurable parameters and can be configured at both node level and pool member level as we have discussed in the previous sections if you remember in the local traffic at the node level for each node you have the option to configure the ratio and also connection limit and it is also possible to configure ratio and connection limit at pool level here is the ratio and connection limit parameters ratio is the number of connections forwarded to the server compared to the other server for example if the ratio of server 1 is 2 and the ratio of server 2 is 3 it means that out of every 5 connection requests 3 will be forwarded to the server 1 and 2 will be forwarded to the server 2 ratio as you can see by default is 1 the ratio is the parameter that can be configured by administrator 
or dynamically calculated by some load balancing algorithm we will see in a few minutes many load balancing algorithm use a static or dynamic ratio for load balancing decisions or at least ratio is one of the parameters effective in the decisions algorithm like ratio dynamic ratio least connection ratio observe and predictive are using one of static or dynamic ratio for load balancing decisions connection limit parameter specifies the maximum number of new connections that can be forwarded to the server per second connection limit is zero by default which means there is no limitation connection limit somehow also shows the capacity of the server if the connection limit in server one is 100 and in server 2 is 200 it means that the capacity of server 2 can be twice that of server 1 algorithm whose names begin with weighted such as weighted list connections node or weighted list connections member use connection limit as a parameter or measurement parameter in addition to the aesthetic measurement parameter there are also some parameters that are measured dynamically and are not configured by administrator dynamic ratio number of open or active connections number of open or active sessions response time and server real time performance are some other dynamic measurement parameters that are effective in some load balancing decisions the other point that you may notice in load balancing algorithm are the keywords connections and session what is the difference between session and connection in load balancing measurement parameters in summary a session may contain multiple connections most load balancing algorithms use dynamic measurement parameters to load balance the request in continue we will explain how each algorithm use one or more of the above measurement parameters to load balance the request this is an overview of the ltm load balancing algorithm that answer these questions different version of each algorithm are they static or dynamic the measurement parameters that big ip used to decide which server the next request will be forwarded to for which algorithm performance monitor need to be implemented the requirements for using each algorithm and finally in which application is each load balancing algorithm used in continue we discuss each of these load balancing algorithm in more details First, we begin with round robin algorithm. Round robin algorithm distribute loads evenly among all pool members, which was discussed and implemented in the previous section. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so the algorithm works well in most cases, especially when servers resources are roughly equal. The ratio algorithm also has two versions node and member version was discussed and implemented in the previous section like round robin this algorithm is also a static and does not measure anything requests are distributed proportionally to the ratio configured in node or member level by default the ratio is one and it behaves like a round robin algorithm in this figure ratio of server 1 has changed to 3 but the ratio of server 2 and server 3 are 1 the default value in this example request 1 2 and 3 are routed to the server 1 then request 4 and 5 are forwarded to the server 2 and server 3 again request number 6 7 and 8 are forwarded to the server 1 and finally 
request number 9 and 10 are forwarded to the server 2 and server 3. With the ratio session algorithm, the new requests are distributed based on the number of open or active sessions to each server and the ratio configured for each pool member. The algorithm is dynamic because it needs to measure and keep the number of active sessions for each server. For example, if server 2 ratio is twice the ratio configured by server 1 and server 1 has 10 active sessions and server 2 has less than 20 active sessions, the new request will be forwarded to the server 2. In the ratio session algorithm, it is required that a layer 7 service profile and a TCP profile be assigned to the virtual server, which will be discussed in the next sections. Dynamic ratio algorithm has also two versions, node and member works like ratio algorithm and the loads of requests are distributed proportionally to the ratio of the nodes or pool members. The difference is that the ratio is calculated dynamically based on the result of real-time performance monitoring of the servers. This algorithm requires performance monitoring to be enabled for the servers. The algorithm works well when the type of traffic varies greatly from user to the user and therefore performance of the servers are changing dynamically. In this figure, at a certain time, time x, server 1 performance is better than server 2 performance and therefore the next incoming request at that time is forwarded to the server 1. In the least connections algorithm which also has two versions node and member, each incoming request is forwarded to the server with fewest active connections. In this figure, the next incoming session will be forwarded to the server 1 since has fewer active connections than server 2. The ratio list connections, which also has two versions, node and member, is the same as the list connection algorithm, but in addition to the number of active connections, the ratio of the node or pool member is considered. In this figure, the number of active connections on server 1 is less than server 2, but the next request is forwarded to the server Two, because the ratio of server 2 is twice that of server 1. Weighted list connections is the same as ratio list connection, but instead of number of active connections and ratio, number of active connections and connection limit will be used as measurement parameter. The connection limit is a parameter that can be configured at node and pool member as we have seen at the beginning of this lesson, in this example, the connection limit for server 1 is configured to 100 and for server 2 is configured to 200. The number of active connections in server 1 is 30% of the server capacity, but the number of active connections in server 2 is 20% of the server capacity. Therefore, the next request is forwarded to the server 2. The least sessions load balancing algorithm measures the number of active sessions with each server and the next request will be forwarded to the server with minimum number of active sessions. Observe load balancing algorithm works like ratio and dynamic ratio algorithm and loads of the requests are distributed proportionally to the ratio of nodes or pool members. The difference is that the ratio is calculated dynamically every second and based off the number of active connections. If the number of active connections for each server is greater than 
the average number of active connections that server is assigned a smaller ratio value on the contrary if the number of active connections to each server is less than the average number of active connections that server is assigned a larger ratio value in this figure at a certain time server 1 has 30 active connections and server 2 has 20 active connections and the average number of active connections is 25 therefore server 1 has above average active connections and server 2 has fewer than average active connections therefore server 2 is assigned a higher ratio value and until the next second twice as many requests are forwarded to server 2 as server 1 predictive load balancing is similar to observed or dynamic ratio meaning that each server is dynamically assigned a ratio every second and requests are loaded into the service proportional to their ratio value however the ratio is assigned based on the performance trend and not based on the connection numbers as in the observed load balancing algorithm if a server one performance increases compared to the previous second higher ratio value is assigned conversely if server performance decreases the server is assigned a lower ratio value in this figure server one performance is decreasing compared to the previous second and server two performance is increasing therefore at time x plus one server two ratio is increased and server one ratio is decreased and finally in the fastest algorithm big ip count the number of requests to each server that are not yet responded by the server or outstanding requests if there are a lot of requests coming to the server that are still not being responded it means that the server is not fast enough this algorithm is used in the environments where nodes are distributed across different logical networks in this algorithm it is also required that a layer 7 service profile and a TCP profile be assigned to the virtual server in this algorithm the next request is forwarded to the server that has minimum number of unanswered requests this means that this server is the fastest at this time